Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we'll be checking out Lucifer, Season 4, Episode 4. And yeah, not much else to say about last episode, so let's get right into it. Wait a second. Where is Lucifer? He was decapitated? No. He's Ella. not going to be working with us anymore. You haven't found the necklace yet, have you? Not yet. What necklace? Pablo was uh, transporting our latest piece, the Desert Mirage. It's a, a $3 million original he finished in Dubai. Why Dubai? It's where we get our best deals, buying gold and diamonds. And you were- Hey, Toby. It's Pablo. I messed up, man. I'm in some serious debt with these dangerous dudes, and I kind of promised to give them the Mirage. They're on their way over for it, but it's gone. Yalla. So it must have- but it's Lucifer, so I'm sure he is just fine. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Eve? Oh my god, that was right! Long time no see. How? Found a way out of heaven. I didn't think that was possible. Oh, she was in heaven. What can I say? I've always been a bit of a rule breaker, but you know that. I do. So I flew the coop. We all do. Next thing I knew, I was waking up in a dusty old tomb. So I caught a plane, came straight to LA. I started meeting every new soul that was coming through those pearly gates, just taking in all their incredible stories, you know, about everything that was going on down here. And what is it you truly desire? Excitement, you know, thrills, just some good old fashioned fun. I'm doing a lifetime or two of it. I wouldn't want to impose. I know Pierre at the Waldorf. He owes me a favor, so we'll get you a suite. A hotel. Yeah, what she expected? <laughs> Great. You're not Raphael with five stars. The necklace! No! I am cancelling this ride. Tell me where the necklace is, or I'll shoot your friend in the face. There's no need to be so rude. <laughs> Why would she have? Oh my god! <laughs> she didn't know that, huh? You're okay? On the way over, he kept showing off this really expensive necklace he made. Said it was for some Arab guy. Uh, not to mention, I have a truly supernatural support team. <laughs> okay, you ready to see your baby? <gasps> Maze! Maze, maze, maze. It's just ultrasound gel. You're having a boy. A boy? <laughs> Better luck next time. Do you see a second protrusion anywhere? Maybe even a third? Uh, typically, there's only one thing. Damn, I'm Nah, I was looking for the wings. The wings? <laughs> <laughs> um, as I recall, don't you owe him a favor? He told you about that, did he? Yeah, he did. And you're in luck because he okay. said I could collect on your debt in his absence. But Pablo managed to lose it before we had a chance to get it back. So you killed him. <laughs> Why would I kill a man who owes me millions? No, no, no. We roughed him up a bit. Told him he better find it before we did. I always say that when people have a death and they get killed, like, how do you get your money back? That doesn't make sense. To avoid her at them at any cost. She is beautiful, Lucifer. by the way. So Pablo. Uncle, I added more mint this time. What the? I shot you in the yeah. face. Yes. Then I gave you a terrible rating. George, what have I told you? No more shooting without my permission. That's true. The forbidden fruit was less of an apple and more like a banana. Very large banana. It's true. Never forget your first. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have no idea what you two are talking about. Excellent. Once it's back in your hands, uh, we'll call it even and everyone can go their separate ways. I can't decide if she's gonna be a problem. <laughs> she probably will be, but um. See, angels, we didn't grow up. Uh, we just appeared, fully formed. That's how mom and dad created us. Okay, so what you're telling me is that what's happening to me, what's growing inside my body, is a first? I see. 
see you've paid off security to help assist you with your little scam. Quite the entrepreneur. Please tell me we're about to have my first bar fight. I could get things started with the ball bashing. <laughs> Again. She's so excited. I kind of love her. As long as Chloe doesn't come in right now. Don't mess with the lady. I miss seeing him fight someone. I get it, girl. <laughs> Ow. How come that pull stick hurt you, but the bullet to the head didn't? I. Look, I will explain later, but for now, we just need to get out of here. As Linda suggested, trying to be understanding of the fact that you are a backstabbing liar who's been secretly plotting against Lucifer and keeping me away from Trixie. By the way, you're not the only human who knows. Linda handled it much better than you. The devil, demon, dating an angel. Mm -hmm. Having his baby. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I don't that, think she knows about that. <laughs> yeah. With an angel baby. Who knows, Chloe? Oh, <laughs> Linda? Linda. So well does that freak out she has right now. Can handle this? I mean, I guess what it really all comes down to is one simple question. Do you want him in your life or not? Okay. You know, you seem really smart and very kind. I can see how someone would be drawn to you. Thank you. There's someone out there for everyone. What? Okay, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're done here. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god, Eve. Anything. Still got it. She's not wasting any time. How did it go? <gasps> you got it. I need that necklace to flush out Pablo's killer. And what makes you think I care? <sighs> mm. Well, despite our issues, I think you still do. Where else do we have to be? In? That'd be fun. Turkish Pete? Why have I been going to all this trouble trying to find your boss's necklace when you've had it all along? Always in debt, always getting bailed out. Bailed out by who? His business partner, Toby. Toby said he had no idea that Pablo was into any trouble. Oh, yeah. Imagine that. You've been lied to. There he is. She's just human, right? So she can die. Everybody loves Pablo. The fun one. But if they knew who he really was, he was a train wreck. He wasted all our money on hookers and blow. That doesn't sound like such a bad guy to me. And after, after that voicemail, I rushed down there, found him beaten up, the mirage gone. I just, I got so angry. Drop the gun and let her go. <laughs> Oof. Turn over. Hands behind your back. Daniel. I'd like that necklace, thank you very much. What, do you really think we would just hand you stolen evidence? Turn over. Come on. Well, she did say she can't promise anything, so... Going somewhere where I'm wanted. Somewhere like here. Oh, what do I put my knives? I mean, he pisses me off all the time. And there are so many things about him that... that I find hard to accept, but I just have to believe I can find a way. She's gonna walk in on something. I came back for you. To be with you. You know? The detective doesn't accept you for who you are, does she? No. 
I told you. Oh, she's. Yeah. And I can see how tempting that would be for Lucifer. can never get a break. <laughs> There's always something. Ugh. I have to say, I like Eva a lot. She is, at least for now, and we don't know yet if she has any ulterior motives, but she seems all about the fun and excitement and doing, being on an adventure, so to speak. I don't know, she's just very upbeat. And I like the truth that she was in heaven, but heaven wasn't for her. So, as she came back to earth. I still don't know what is her coming back to earth, what's up with that, because there has to be more to that. Um, and as I said, I think it's very tempting for Lucifer that she, is, she saw his real face. And she was like, that's all right by me, you know? And she kissed him, so I can I can see how he's tempted by that, by not necessarily by his feelings for her or by herself, because we know he loves Chloe, but by the fact that she accepts, that there is someone who accepts him, and that's, I mean, everyone wants that, right? Everyone wants someone else to accept. Everyone wants to be accepted for who they are. <laughs> so, Chloe and Linda talked, which was great. I didn't realize she didn't know, but of, of course she wouldn't know that Linda knows because she hasn't really talked to anyone. Um, Linda freaking out about being the first one to birth a Nephilim. Understandably, freaking out. <laughs> Baby proofing the ceiling. Oh my god. And then Mace shows up with her bag full of knives, which um, there's gonna be some talks about that, I can imagine. <laughs> and the melody. He's so excited to be a father. That's so cute. But I don't know if. He was talking about her, him having wings and being like, uh, essentially being a normal angel, but he's part human, so I'm very curious to see how that plays out. Yeah. Chloe decided that she wants Lucifer in her, in her life, regardless of all the bad stuff that comes with it. And then, of course, she walks in on him and Eve. But that was to be accepted, um, expected. All right. Thank you guys for watching, for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.